I'm Tiffany Taylor. I'm Alyssa Blackburn. I'm Kayleen Kelly. I'm Kirsten Keller. And we're going to talk about our spaghetti and marshmallow project. Um, we started off by taking a lot of time and coming up with design ideas. Um, we wanted to make sure we had a nice base to support our marshmallows, just like in education, we need to support our kids, have strong foundations. <laughs> Um, we also combined it with kind of a rocket ship design, um, specifically by NASA. And um, so then when we came to Troubles here, we were able to take, I, I'm not sure what to call them, catapults is what comes to mind for some reason. And um, <laughs> support to extra support on the outside. Um, so we went with that. Well, as the group photographer, um, I was able to capture some really wonderful moments as we um, really had to be flexible with um, some of the parts of our structure. When things would start to fall apart, we would pretty quickly have to throw in some new sticks, and it got pretty complicated looking in the middle, even though our original structure had it pretty clean looking. But we were able to get it complicated, and it was fun to be able to record those. <laughs> We noticed that it worked better when we um, kind of divided up the work and uh, Helene worked on the top part, which I'll tell you about that in a second, but um, the rest of us, us three like worked on the bottom structure because we needed more hands to kind of like hold different parts and support it while we were building. Okay, well, um, like she said, I was working on the top part and there actually was a top part for about two minutes and 30 seconds. There it is. There it is. Um, the other part of it kind of fell off. What I did was I took like three, I made three small boxes by like taking an eighth of the spaghetti and like putting that together. And what I like realized really helped um, make that structure um, nice and secure was like adding the crossbar to every portion of it. And then some things we noticed that kind of made our tower collapse a little bit was the more spaghetti sticks we stuck in the marshmallows. Um, the marshmallows kind of gave up on us and disintegrated a little bit. So needless to stay, we didn't make it the whole three minutes and we kind of toppled over. <laughs> we got close. But related to education. Yes, so in the same way, we don't want to ever put too much pressure on one student the way we put too much pressure on some of the marshmallows because um, with too much pressure, the students won't be able to handle it and could just crumple. So we need to make sure that we really know our students and what they can handle and what we assign. Another way this applies to education is in flexibility in the classroom. We started out with a plan just like you would make a lesson plan, but then when we started doing it, it didn't really work out like we thought it would, and we had to adapt as we went through. Mm -hmm. And one more way to relate it to education is um, the structure. We need to build a strong foundation or else we'll just topple over. Mm -hmm. I could come up with a way to make it even, but I very much like these three ideas. <laughs> So this is, if you didn't see our completed, well, after about half an hour, this is about what it came from mounted to, and we, we, were, we were in the competition pretty strong. It was pretty, pretty nice. Neck and neck. Yeah, it was, it was pretty close, and ours almost lasted, but somebody else had a tall one anyway. That, that's, that's our, it. Wraps that's it our marshmallow spaghetti project. Yay.